I go down, but back up. Collar and elbow tie up again. Another snap there by Albright. Now Daigo coming back up slowly. Goes behind. Trying for that side, for that side suplex, but it doesn't work. Go behind. Again with the ambush thrown into the referee's position, but he's back up. Kick, kick, punch. No oh, elbow. Shoulder block. Elbow. Nicely done. Nice combination of moves there. One, two, and two only. On a lateral request. Now, here we go. Cross arm breaker. Again, working over that right arm. And that's the end of the second round. We're going into the third round. And once again, no one's lost any points so far. So you got to wonder how these guys are going to go. What are these guys going to do to try to get the other one to get knocked down and lose a point? Front face walking to a knee. And now trying to humble him with the with the task mission, the Kaja Haja man. That's a rope escape from the submission. So that's going to be three points lost. Albright's already down. Oh, what an elbow. Has a hook, double on the hook, and he gets out with the backbreaker. And now look at this. Cobra Clutch again, he uses the rope to escape. So it could be it's two quick two quick rope escapes, and now Albright's down six. Schoolboy, but the rope let it. Gave him the escape, and he doesn't lose any points. Bear hug attempt. Calling up with Tyab and a hip toss. Simple but effective that hip toss. And Dragon Suplex! That's him dead. He's One. down. One. Two. Three. And he's back up. We saw for the first time in this tournament a couple matches ago that you do have a 10 count to work with to get it back up to your feet. Here's a pen. One, two, and only two. If you don't get up by the count of 10, you're considered knocked out and the match is over. So now, going after the left arm now with the arm ringer, but it's reversed. Now, elbow. Step on the hook. Backbreaker, or like, nice backbreaker there. And now, he's going to try for a pin, but it's too close to the rope. Oh, what a right hand by Albright, followed by an elbow. Grab him. Oh, there we go. Belly to belly. Another belly to belly suplex. Belly to belly fast suplex times two, and then a German suplex. And he's down, and just like that, One, we're back to even. Two, three. And Daigo's back up, and Daigo is still in woozy and days after getting suplex. First two side suplexes back to back, belly belly side suplex, then a German suplex. Take him up to the top rope, and nice, look at this! That, that, that saved the bell, the bell saved him as he was in the arm bar. We're gonna start the fourth round. Colin Neville will tie up, hip toss by Albright. That was a flurry, that was a big flurry in the final seconds of that third round by Daigo. It has him in the referee position. Goes above. Up. Oh, Back to the referee position. Go above. Go above him. Oh, but Gary Albright reverses. Not for 10. One. Two. No. Only two. It's been a great matchup so far. Only in the fourth round. Again, try for 10. But again, I go using poor ring positioning and lets the rope break. Cost the escape with no penalty. And a dragon two back to ten? No. Nice victory roll. One, two, no. Had him, had him dead to right for that victory roll. He's asked to get away. And now look. And that's considered a submission. And the rope escape gives him another three points taken away. Oh, what a kick by Albright. Tiger's in trouble. He has him. There's a German. And another German. And that's going to be considered a takedown. So we're even again. One, two, three. This is an unbelievable contest here between these two individuals. This is a great way to end off the second round of this tournament with these two going at it. Here's a Camaro lock. This time going after the right arm. 
You see him bending that elbow back. You guys don't really bend an elbow like that. You could break it that way. Now, have him. Then Sherman. Oh, and he hurt. He must. Be, he hurt his neck. He's hurting, but Dago back at it. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, what a reversal by Daigo and he's back to speed. Now the arm ringer, definitely going after the arms, and now the arm bar. And the arm up and turning it, that's not the best way to spend a, a night in the ring. Belly to belly, fast to sack. They picked him up. German to flat. And Daigo's down. Down. One. Two. But the bell rings, but either way, Daigo's down, down. If he gets knocked down one more time or gets to go to the ropes to get out of the submission, he's out of this tournament. Now Albright caught in the leg lock. But he gets free. Now Albright hits a shot to the gut. And an Irish whip. And nice. Goes down again. Goes out the leg. Great bind in the leg, but again, Albright gets free. Got it up, spins around, spins around, and now there's the arm breaker. We tap. No, he won't. He's staying alive. He's got a three-point advantage. All he has to do is get one more knockdown, and he's on to the next round. But you gotta wonder what is Albright's strategy. Well, here you go, power bomb. The bangles back up immediately. And back drops him down, and now going after that arm, has him hooked, and Albright will not tap. But what is Daigo, what can Daigo do here? Back drops him again, but Daigo's got to do something here. And now look at this, has him in the leg lock, but he gets out of it again. Oh, no, we'll tie up. Hip hop. Pick him up. Take a look. Dragon Suplex! And that's it! That is it. Gary Albright with the Dragon Suplex and that 321 in the fifth round. So Shiro Daigo is out of points and out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for the second round. I should be back for the next round. Until then, Hello! congrats Gary Albright.